Hi there, welcome back to question number 36 of this series. Once again, a question from CAT 2018 slot 2. Let's have a look. There are two drums each containing a mixture of paints A and B in drum 1. A and B are in a ratio of 18 and 7. In drum 2, we do not know the ratio, but he says they are mixed in a ratio of 3 to 4, such that the final ratio of A and B is 13 is to 7. So what is the ratio of A and B in the second drum? Let us start doing it. Though it looks like a question of allegation, but looking at the options, it looks a little scary because options are very big, right? So in drum 1, we have A and B in a ratio of 18 is to 7. In drum 2, we do not know what is the ratio, but when I mix them, let's make it drum 1 plus 2. There the ratio of A and B is 13 is to 7. Also, he says that the quantities that are mixed, they are in a ratio of 3 is to 4. So probably I would have discussed about it before as well that in ratios, the sum of the ratios, the numbers given in the ratios are very important. So when A is to B is to be divided in a particular ratio, the sum becomes important. What is the sum of 18 and 7? It is 25. What is the sum of 13 and 7? It is 20. These two are the only ratios given and their sum are 25 and 20. So it's better that state the total quantities as a multiple of 25 and 20. It will make your job easy. How? A common multiple of 25 and 20 is 100. If I am mixing them in a ratio of 3 and 4, let us say I take 300 liters of drum 1, 400 liters of drum 2, of course, 700 liters would be formed in the final mixture. Now, if 300 liters is taken from drum 1, how much of that would be A? You can work on B as well, any one of them. It would be 18 by 25 times of 300. So 25, 12 is a 300, 12 into 18, 12 into 18 is 216. So I have 216 liters of A in drum 1. What about the final drum? 20, when it divides 700, it gives us 35. So 13 into 35 will be the quantity of A in the final drum. 13 into 35 would be equal to how much? It would be equal to 455. So 455 liters is the final quantity of A. 216 is the quantity of A from drum 1. So how much quantity came from drum 2? It is 455 minus 216. And when you subtract it, it gives you 239. So if 239 quantity of A came from drum 2, how much B came from it? 400 minus that, which is 161. And that straight away gives us the answer as option B, which becomes the right answer for this question. Now, so uh, somehow probably I have misquoted it here. It should have been 239 is to 161. Another thing that I want to mention over here, that is, would it be easy for me if I work with B? Yes, if you work with B, probably it would be easy because calculations would be slightly smaller for you. 25 into 12 is 300, 12 into 7 is 84, right? 20 into 35 is 700, 35 into 7. Now, 35 into 7 is not that difficult to calculate. It is 245. And 245 minus 84 is straight away 161. If I look at all the options, which option has 161? Option B is the only one which is having 161. So that would have probably made your job a little more easier than this. And without assuming any variables, we could have done this question easily in this case as well. That's what I call as aptitude way of doing it. Thank you very much.